this is an oddball fly fishing opportunity for this morning. Here in the middle part of New York State, we've got the Mohawk River, which is a big navigable river. And every spring, blueback herring run the river to spawn. And about this time in the fall, late September, the juveniles start swimming back out to the ocean. And when that happens, the smallmouths in the river go crazy. And bass that you couldn't get an opportunity on with the fly rod are all of a sudden chasing herring up into the shallows and you can catch them on surface poppers. It's a really neat thing. It's, it's limited, but it's the best chance I get to catch a huge smallmouth every year. I'm sure this occurs in uh, other states too where they have the herring runs into the rivers in the northeast. Today there's light rain and it's overcast, which makes it a good day to go out and try for some of these bigger small miles on the river. Hopefully the creeks are going to stay clear. We got some rain last night, but the bass should be in the creek mouths chasing those baby herring. The herring will rest up in the creek mouths overnight, so hopefully we get into some this morning. That's a net fish. That's a big small mouth. Keep him out of the motor. That's a good bass. Oh my god. That is a slammer smallmouth.
not as big as the other guy. flies for today are pretty simple. I always start out with a popper. That's my river herring popper. And I also have another Estaz popper that's been working. And when the fish stop hitting on top, they start going down. I use my jerk fly and also I have a new fly with some kind of a woolly bugger style fly with some holographic uh, body material and that's been working really well and the whole idea is these fish are eating bait fish a lot of them are baby herring they run them up into the shallow spots and then they pick them off so these look like the bait fish and these flies work really well on these small mouths in the big river
that's going to be a net fish. So for these fish, I fish uh, all seven weights. And one of the real important things is being able to cover the water because early in the morning, they're very apt to hit top water, but as the day goes on, they won't. I mean, today's kind of a really gray day, so that extends that bite. And one of the things that I found is that I came out earlier this year and I went up one creek and I had like five hits, a couple of really good bass, and I never hooked any of them. So the problem that I was having was that uh, my brother, the bass master, figured out, he says, your leader's stretching too much when you're setting the hook. So I went to a redfish leader, actually, saltwater leader, and I went to a lot heavier tippet than I usually use. I'm using eight pound and I'm also using fluorocarbon so it doesn't stretch. I always use a little barrel swivel because when the poppers will twist the leader up on you and that prevents that from happening so that's a good little tip there. Um, after they stop hitting top water my next move is I uh, fish with streamers and usually I'm running two three feet down with the streamers and then after that I switch out to a full uh, sinking uh, shooting head and I get down eight feet or so and I use a jerk fly which is this guy and that works like a jerk bait and that works really well and sometimes you can get another fish or two later on in the morning. Big bass. Almost pulled the rod out of my hand. Oh no! He spit the damn hook.
I lost the fish and I had one fish hit twice that I never hooked. He's not a slammer, but the way today is going, he'll do. Thank you, old guy. So I think the top water bite's over, so the next thing is switching to a streamer. Another little guy. There goes the eagle. streams are becoming more crowded and salmon streams especially so finding a neat little opportunity like this like fishing these big navigable rivers with a fly rod is something that we all need to start looking for um, this is a great opportunity it's not easy you get you know if you got six eight hits in a morning you did really good but some of those fish are going to be three four pounders so you're going to get into some really nice ones you know, obviously you need a boat to get around, but uh, this is a lot of fun with the fly rod. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 